what's going on everybody so today we are all in for falsia which is pretty exciting honestly i uh i have this uh this goal in mind where i kind of want to see if i can collect all of the legendary fighters because if you notice on my account like there's far more fighters than a lot of other classes in the game but if you look even with that being the case like i have one legendary mage of all the different mages in the game so there is a huge difference between like my mage count and healer count and marksman count and heck even defender count versus the amount of fighters that i have of course everyone's gotten a, a abomination everyone's gotten a volka which helps you kind of complete the legendary fighter count but i also have arrogant zilla to valkra valyria and cerberus and with falsia added to the collection guaranteed we are actually pretty close to collecting most of the legendary fighters, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm all in for her. She is exclusive. I'd love to have her in the account just because any future updates or anything, I can kind of compare it to everyone as the game continues to evolve. And that's kind of what I want to do as a content creator. So with that said, I have 83 summons here and I also have quite a few gems. I am almost certain we're going to have to use most of those gems today. I don't really want to buy a bunch of packs <laughs> so we're gonna hopefully um not do that today <laughs> but i guess whatever happens happens so with that said let's jump into it and let's start summoning now it is a 10x so there is a small chance that we could get a falsia before the 250 but it is very small i, I honestly highly doubt that we will get ourselves a falsia before the 250 count which means that we do have to get pretty lucky here uh outside of the falsia in order for this to be truly worth it like i don't want to go 250 summons and just get a falsia that would be pretty sad and whoa okay uh <laughs> i believe this is livian right she's new i actually didn't realize i did not have a livian that's actually pretty crazy so yeah okay livian she is the 10x epic i believe for this one yeah so i got the 10x epic pretty cool uh, I didn't have her before, and now I do. Always happy to have a brand new epic versus a dupe, to be honest, because there's only maybe like two, if, maybe even less than that, maybe like 10 epics in the game I do not have at the current moment. So love to get duplicates. I also am looking for quite a few more copies of Deimos and Anna, which would greatly help my account, at least for what I'm trying to use it for. Honestly, I've spent the last like, ooh, a Komodo, the last, I want to say, two weeks two and a half weeks just farming artifact right every single point of energy just goes into stage 18 artifact so i haven't really been trying to push like the other gear raids at the current moment because i'm just developing my artifacts and then of course enhancing them and then all the other gear raids will be slightly easier because i'm still looking for a ton of mythic artifacts and i have a ton to forge it'll probably be a pretty big video soon i'll probably forge like 500 artifacts or something like that but it'll be pretty fun when we do that another komodo copy not too annoyed with that I need a lot of Komodos not because I think Komodo is amazing but because I would like to fuse another abomination and uh, extra copies of him aren't too bad Damon copy here not bad as well uh, I could use a couple more of him honestly though the epics are kind of out of the question at this point like I already have the epics that I want and the epics that I am currently using most of them are high awakened to the point where I don't really feel like I need a lot more stats or anything on them so i feel pretty good on the epic side of things so we're really looking for legendaries here of course any new epic would be fantastic and a laurel copy is not too bad a soleil copy some of the dual faction membership uh characters i am potentially looking for additional awakens because i am going to start pushing towards faction trials as well i think i'm going to do that before i actually push for like uh, maxing out all the other like void rifts and, and gear raid like one and three 21 because those are going to be a little bit harder I think I'd rather just easily get like a six star and then max out the faction trials. Because honestly, you only need to really like invest in like three or four potential characters to max out like many, many different factions because you already have so many characters when you're at this point that it, it's much easier. But got an Imani there, which is another pretty cool one that I'd love to build out. There's a lot of characters that I'd love to build out. And Azim, freshly buffed Nazim. I guess not so fresh anymore. It's been like a month or so so uh honestly like quite a bit of time since then <laughs> um another epic here another imani okay not too bad Ooh, a vortex okay he's awakened five so that's gonna be some extra um 
soul stones for me. How many have we done so far? I think we're at what, like 110, 10, 120 summons already? Osiren, not too bad, not too bad. 140, okay, so we have 90 or 110 more summons to go. Can we get ourselves a Falsia beforehand? Can we even get another Legendary? Are we going to go 250 no Legendary? Because that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Let's go. Another 10 summons here. Ooh, another Epic. Man, I think this is going to be a pretty bad summon session. Not going to lie. I think I'm just going to get Falsia at the end of the day. <laughs> Ooh, a Voroth and a Brunar. Voroth is actually someone I actually do want to build out and invest into. I think he's going to be pretty cool um to kind of experiment with compared to a lot of the legendary fighters i'd love to test them literally side by side in like guild boss for example like i have the zillow 2 i have the arrogance as i mentioned so i'd love to test them side by side kind of see the damage drop off another vortex copy so many epics and yet zero annas zero of um deimoses which a uh, little unfortunate little unfortunate but uh that's okay okay we're at what 180 now yeah, 180, so... Oh, we gotta go ahead and sort through these. Hold on, let me uh, just do some quick starring up here. Um, Boom, do that. Get some three stars going. Running out of XP. I'm gonna have to do some XP farming soon. I think that should be good enough. Probably. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on, come on. 70 summons left. 70 summons left. Can we get a legendary beforehand? Once we get about 200, that's when we're at the point where it's like, okay, we are at the drop rate of legendaries and we still have yet to get a legendary. So we're already, we're doing pretty poor for ourselves this summon session. Oh, I take it back. That's literally 200 summons. We get our first legendary. So is it going to be a Falsia? It'd be kind of unfortunate if we get the Falsia now, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I guess I'm going to be too upset. There's the Falsia. Okay. So we managed to get ourselves the Falsia. Um at 201 summons not too bad it's definitely <laughs> definitely a costly one but i'm pretty excited about it nonetheless i kind of expected it to be 250 i didn't expect to really get anything outside of that but you know getting ourselves the copy of falsia definitely excited she is uh definitely someone i'm gonna be building out and definitely someone i would like to try out especially compared to valeria because i only recently got valeria and I, obviously I've seen some testing done, but that was like initial testing. And for someone who has kind of like a kind of, I would stay that mid to early late game account, right? Like I'm still pushing like the st stage 21s, which is um, kind of like that late game dungeon, right? I want to see how they really compare at this kind of gear level. So I'll definitely be doing videos on that uh, since I do have all the fighters. And then shortly after I do some more testing on Falsia, after I've done my initial testing previously, I, uh, now I can do some more. I'll be doing a full-on Legendary Fighters tier list because, well, that's definitely the one I'm most excited about. Probably do it for every faction uh, after that, but the Legendary Fighters is the one I'll be starting off with because uh, it's definitely the one I probably have the most experience uh, experience with. But pretty excited about this. For those of you that play League of Legends, she reminds me of Yone. Uh, he's got the two dual blades, kind of has the same attack animation. Just an overall sick character that I'm really excited about. I just love her attack animation. With that said, though, thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully, if you did summon for her, you got her a little bit earlier than I did. Or maybe you got a second legendary with her. Um, because as far as I understood this one, um, the pity timer activates one time. And uh, you're guaranteed after 250 summons. So if you summon a legendary beforehand, you still get it guaranteed with the 250. So please, uh, that be you. <laughs> instead of this because i think this is probably the most one of the more unlucky scenarios i guess i could have gone to full 250 and just gotten falsia so not too bad but not great either thanks for watching and i'll see you all for the next one <laughs>